Guys, check this out. Sheep Inu sees a substantial drop in activity. Now, whale tier transaction on Shiba Inu has been an important indicator for the asset's health and also its market activity. However, as we are now seeing in the past 24 hours, large transaction volume has plummeted below the 1 trillion token, while showing 7.49 trillion earlier this week, signaling a dangerous tendency. Shibami, do you agree? Why don't you tell us down below? And by the way, if you do get any value from my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now that's all been said, let's dive in a little bit deeper. The quantity of large transactions involving SHIB has sharply decreased. According to the recent on-chain data from Into the Block, just 45 large transactions were made in the past 24 hours. A dramatic decrease from the 7-day high of 285 transactions on June the 18th. Now, with this decrease in the overall number of transactions from a peak of 7.68 trillion SHIB earlier this week, the large transaction volume indicates the total number of SHIB as 747.97 billion. Check it out on screen. SHIB Army, this decline is concerning because it points to a significant drop in the activity of whale investors who are frequently considered the primary driver of the noteworthy market movement. This decline may be the result of multiple factors. First, big investors may be less interested in Shiba Inu as a result of the general decline in market sentiment. Anyhow, as the Shiba Inu chart indicates the price of the asset is plunging beneath the key moving average. The poor trading activity also, guys, is reflected by the drop of the RSI within the oversold area on a relatively low volume. Moreover, the rate is shifting beneath the long-term shifting average like 200 and 100, which is a sign of a sturdy, bearish sentiment. Guys, many ramifications may rise for Shiba Inu market as a result of the decreased large transaction volume. Ship liquidity may suffer from fewer large transactions, which would increase its sensitivity to price volatility. Now, a further drop in the price of SHIB could result from a lack of substantial buying activity from where investors since there will be less support to withstand selling pressure. Now tell me guys, when will the retail money come in for SHIB Uno? Soon, very, very soon. Give it five more weeks. Let the people let the people get the summer out the way and then, then the market will change. Just mark my word. But anyway, guys, this brings me to the end of the article. So guys, like always, if you did get any value, don't forget to smash that subscribe, switch on that notification bell and karate chop that like. Two companies control the world, and yet you don't know them. When we think of the world's most powerful companies, we often think of Apple, Google, or Amazon. However, these companies are small potatoes compared to the two behemoths that are BlackRock and Vanguard. BlackRock and Vanguard are the world's two most powerful investment funds, with over 15 trillion in assets under management, roughly five times France's GDP. So how do these two companies control the world? The answer is simple. Vanguard and BlackRock own shares in all the world's most powerful companies. They are the largest shareholders in Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft. They are true financial monsters. They own absolutely everything. Pharmaceuticals, transport, banking, media. It's simple. Every time you do something, you make BlackRock and Vanguard richer. Look at T-Fun. You make Vanguard richer. You go on Instagram. You make BlackRock richer. You buy an iPhone you make Vanguard richer. And the most terrifying thing is that when you make Vanguard richer, you also make BlackRock richer. After all, the two companies are each other's largest shareholders, 